I'm Glenn. Welcome to Southington Spotlight on Crescent Lake. One of the coolest locations that I found in Southington was Crescent Lake. My daughter caught her first, first fish. fish there and I hiked around the trail throughout the whole place and it was just amazing and it was so beautiful, especially in the fall. One of the things that surprised me about this lake is how it's connected to the Revolutionary War and England. Ichabod Bradley inherited all this land, over 200 acres worth, from his grandfather, Benjamin Judd who received the land from King George III. It is speculated that Benjamin Judd was a sympathizer to England during the Revolutionary War, incurred favor with the king, hence why he received the land. Crescent Lake wasn't actually always this big. It was excavated back in the early 1800s by the Bradley family, including some others. In 1849, a dam was built to actually increase the water supply so it would help the local area. Once the dam was in place, Crescent Lake grew to the lake we know today, and the town of Plainville took it as their reservoir. In 1983, the town of Southington showed interest in purchasing the lake. It took 10 years of negotiation, and in 1993, Southington took possession of now Crescent Lake. Floating fishing docks were added as well as a boat launch, what I didn't know until I visited the lake was the incredible trails. And after looking into it, they're some of the best trails in Connecticut, especially during fall time. These trails, especially the loop that goes all around the lake, is perfect for hikers and mountain bikers alike. But my favorite thing to do with the lake is just take in the beauty. Crescent Lake is one of Southington's most amazing treasures and deserves the Southington Spotlight today.